In this video we'll try and uh, model this in Excel, <coughs> the diesel cycle, um, get the shape and try and work out the blue area here to work out how much um, energy the uh, cycle is producing. So start Excel, uh, in the first column we'll have pressure, volume, actually let's do that the other way around, it makes more sense because we know the volume before we know the pressure. As you can see, I'm doing this on the fly. Volume will start at, um, so it's uh, intake, start with the intake cycle. So let's assume it's um, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 litres, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2, let's go up to 1 litre maximum. And then when we get to 1 litre, we come back down, back down to 0 0.1 litres. So that's the in, that's the um, uh, intake and that's the compression, and then further down here, then we'll have. You know, so I'm highlighting two and then dragging them down. So that's the uh, intake compression. That's the power stroke, and then the last one is the exhaust stroke. That should take us back to the beginning. So on the intake stroke, the pressure is one atmosphere, and we're keeping this dead simple. Let's assume the in inlet valve is open and the pressure is just one atmosphere during the whole thing. Then on the compression stroke, we have um, <coughs> uh, we're going to use P. Let's just do it on here. Uh, we're using. P1, P1 equals P2, V2. That's the formula. So where are we? So this is the P2 and that's the P1. So this is equal to uh, P1 times, there's times here, times V1 divided by V2. Okay, I'll copy that formula down and that gives us the uh, the pressure. Something not quite right here. Why does that say 9? <coughs> oh, I don't know how that happened, but in this cell that should be a11 divided by A12. And copy that formula down. That's it. So it's P1 V1 divided by V2. So we get up to 10, um, 10 bar or 10 atmospheres. Uh, at the end of the compression stroke, I think we just copy that one down again. And then this is equal to equal to one when the exhaust valve is open. So if we highlight those two, insert a scatter graph. You can see there we have the uh, intake stroke here, the compression stroke there, the expansion stroke underneath it, and the exhaust stroke is underneath that. So now let's give this a bit of, uh, let's give it some fuel. So let's have a column for heat release, which is the Q. And um, again, this will be during these two, the heat release is zero. Just copy that down all the way. And uh, the fuel, let's put a bit of fuel in. Um, I don't know, at the top of the top of the stroke here. Let's put one there, one there, just to see what happens. <coughs> now we need to change the formula. Um, where we're releasing heat from fuel burning and in this column here uh, we're using a different formula um, let me just uh, move this around so we want P2 V2 and then we have to plus 
sorry, it's plus plus Q one plus Q one. P2 is equal to the previous P1, V1, plus the amount of heat that's gone, in, uh, the, the amount of heat that's being released uh, in that time interval. So um, let's get back to our express, uh, time to add a uh, spreadsheet. We need to turn this into a Excel formula. So in that cell there, we just put in plus C11. Put it in brackets, so the whole lot is then divided by the V2. You can copy that down until the end of that one. And you can see there's a pressure and volume <coughs> curve. Coming back to this one, um, just to get you that the, the V2 is divided by that lot. So to work out the to work out P two, it's um, it's that divided by V two, which is where the Excel formula comes from, and this is the shape of it. And you can see by putting in different amounts of fuel in different places, you can change the shape of this. Okay, that's that's actually quite a good diesel cycle there, which I've just hit on by accident. Um, that's the compression. That's the heat release. Uh, this is the so this is the power stroke, and that's the uh, exhaust stroke. Now, how do we work out how much power has been, um, how much energy is being released? Then we need to work out all the delta uh, delta Ws or, or delta Es for the energy. So here we use the trapezoidal rule to work out the area of a loop. Um, and um, I'll just quickly do this. So let's start off with um, zero for the first one. And this one has got to be equal to the trapezoidal rule <coughs> um, is 0 0.5 times the sum of the pressures, the new pressure and the previous pressure, divided by change in volume. That's the new volume. I'll just take the old volume, take away the new volume. Okay, and that'll give us a negative amount because there's no because we're doing work. And have thought if hopefully if I copy that down it should work. Doing the whole lot. Um, actually, I used the, the wrong sign there. It's A2 take away A3. A3 take away A2. I've forgotten that was the intake stroke. I thought it was the exhaust. Copy that one down. Yeah, so that's the intake stroke. Yep. That's the exhaust. That's the compression stroke. It's all negative, so it's taking, taking energy. This is the power stroke there, so it's supplying energy, and that's the um, exhaust stroke, which is taking energy. And if you just add that lot up, just by using the sigma sign, add it all up, that will give you the total. <coughs> That's the total power produced by this engine. And if we alter the fuel, um, so here we've got 1, 1 and 0 0.1. That's total of 2.1. If I just change that and make that 0.1 and put the 1 there, so I'm not changing the fuel, um, you'll see the shape shape changes. Um, and also the, it's not as efficient as it was before. So we, So you need to fiddle around with the fuel injection profile to maximise your um, your um, the power from the engine without exceeding the maximum pressure. <coughs>